about the Holy Spirit, we go to Ephesians chapter 1. So Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13, I would recommend that you read this chapter. And it says, And you were also included in Christ when you heard the message of truth. So when were you included in Christ? When you heard the message of truth. So it's not just hearing, so we need to understand it's not just hearing, but when we hear and believe the message of truth, which is the truth, who is truth? Christ is truth. So when we hear his message and we believe it, we are included in Christ. But it doesn't stop there. The gospel of your salvation. So this is the reason when we believe in this message, we are saved. But here, here we continue. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal. So as, long, as soon as we believed in God, we are marked with a seal. What is the seal? The promised Holy Spirit. So when we believe in Jesus... When we receive, when we hear the word of God and we believe in it, we are included in Christ. And when we are included in Christ, we are marked. Marked with what? Our guarantee, our deposit. The guarantee is the Holy Spirit. So we, there is no way we can be saved without the Holy Spirit. So it is the Holy Spirit that when we hear the word of God, he works in our heart, produces, the, brings to life the word of God, makes us alive. Ephesians 2 says we were dead in our sin, but he raised us up. So the word of God brings life through the work of the Holy Spirit. So it is through the Holy Spirit that you have been brought alive. So when we say we want the Holy Spirit, what we're talking about most times is the evidence of the Holy Spirit. The evidence of the Holy Spirit could be in tongues. The evidence of the Holy Spirit be, could be in, in, in the activities of the Holy Spirit, which could be the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, kindness, praise, faithfulness, and self-control. Or it could be the gifts of the Spirit, or the, the gift of faith, the gift of discernment, the gift of prophecy, the gift of healing and miracles, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. So these are workings of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit evidences himself in our life. The main way the Holy Spirit evidences himself in our life is through the fruit of the spirit now jesus says if you being wicked fathers if you being wicked people know how to give good gifts to your children and if you ask for bread you will not give him a stone if you ask for fish you will not give him a snake how much more will your heavenly father give the holy spirit to those who ask for him so when we say we're asking for the Holy Spirit, Dr. Tony Evans says, what we're asking is for the operation of the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit will may fully operate through us. So it is as simple as this. What do we do to receive the Holy Spirit? We ask. Because he says, if evil fathers know how to give good gifts to their children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the good gift, which is the Holy Spirit, to those who ask him? So ask him. And he's a good father. And he'll give you the ultimate good, which is the Holy Spirit. He is the source, he is the, he is the fountain of all good things. And he gives you the Holy Spirit. How? We ask. So ask him and let him flow through your life. He will evidence himself through tongues, through the gifts, but above all, through the fruit of the Spirit, which brings God glory. So ask and may you receive.